Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is a nice warm day here in central PA. I got this scrape out manure. There's probably, I don't know, a load in here. I'm gonna haul it out because on Friday I wanna clean this whole barn out, weather depending, but I think we're gonna be all right. And just getting this load out today is just one more load we don't have to do Friday because it takes a little bit to get this whole barn cleaned out. So I'm gonna load this up and get rid of it. Didn't all fit in the spreader, but it's wet, so you don't want to put too much in or it'll slosh around. I don't want to be losing any on the road and have to go scrape it up. So a smaller load's okay, sometimes. So the longer we go in the spring here, the more videos I can get out in the field. I mean, we'll be cleaning this heifer barn, we'll be cleaning our other heifer barn. Um, I'll probably be hauling look at manure here pretty soon. Uh, if it'll be getting full, uh, we'll be bailing hay, chopping. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to video on it. Uh, that's my favorite part about farming this field work. I don't know. That's not that way for everybody, but that's the way it is for me anyway. Uh, let me know if you guys like more field work or more cow work. And uh, I can make my videos based off what you guys want. So that's truly what the purpose of it is. Yolen. Today is Friday, April 7th, and got this tractor running. This tractor running. Me and Dave are gonna clean the heifer barn out, so I'm gonna head over there, move some heifers around. Dave will be here shortly, and we'll get started. So Dave's taking out of the spar pen. He gets a few scoops, puts it on the walkway here, pushes it down, and loads it in the spreader. putting on the last scoop for this load and then I'll be off. Takes us a little bit to get this barn done. There's quite a bit in here. I'm spreading my first load now. I got the back half of that field covered already. And it, I did that a while ago so it's dry. So I'm starting on this side now because at this end there's kind of a hill and then there's the woods. And you don't want to start over there and work your way down because then you'll be boxed in against the woods. And it's never a good thing. So I start on this side here now and I'll work my way up because there's nothing on that side that can get me into a pickle. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm now in the 7410 and to a different field. Um, just, just me and Dave. He loads the spreader while I spread a load, and then we get back. Well, I get back, I jump in the other tractor, he loads the other spreader. Get this old new on. Spread. This field's pretty steep. We got a quarter of the barn done. Time to bend these two pens up. life on the edge. 7410 time.
upper side of the barn. It's all cleaned out. They got fresh straw. So half the barn's done. The other half is the dry cows. So we're getting started on that. Dave's waiting on me. He's back to digging. field now with this something's wrong with my turn signals they're not working right and I don't want to be going out in the road if they're not gonna work so well I broke a shear bolt we're almost done so I'll fix it after lunch we are done except for that one load I got a haul and I'll fix that spreader then but other than that She's cleaned out and bedded. It's after lunch. Gonna fix this spreader up quick. This ain't the first time and I know it ain't the last, so let's get her done. Before I fix this, I thought I'd talk a little bit about where we choose to spread our manure and why. So um, we like to spread manure on the corn ground because you wanna put the nitrogen back in the ground, gets the corn to grow, and um, we don't got enough manure to cover all the fields. So that's why we choose the corn because corn's very important to a farm. And um, we like to take the bed pack to further fields, hilly fields, because um, then when you run the tank, you can be more efficient, spreading closer, spreading on flatter ground, it's safer. So um, that's the way we do it here. So I got all the tools I'm gonna need. The augers are, well, what runs the augers is down in there. Let's see if I can get a better view of it, but the bolt, catches on that one thing that spins around and then it catches the auger which turns the auger and the bolt break yeah it broke so there's nothing for it to catch on so there's nothing to make the auger turn I took that shield off this gear goes around it'll catch on that thing where that bolt hole is well there's several bolt holes you could pick and it'll catch that and it'll spin the auger so I got the new bolt started in the hole just gotta tighten her up New bolt is in, put the shield back on, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. gets on Dave about rolling the tank he cuts the manure hall for 10 years so he knows what's up accidents happen but that's gonna be the end of this video happy Easter everybody 